So we know that BuildBox can make really complex games, but what about making simple games? What about making an easy game? And more importantly, how fast could we make a really simple game? In this video, you're gonna see me create a Flappy Bird game in under 60 seconds. Now, I'm gonna be moving extremely fast to try to hit this countdown in time. So don't feel like you have to keep up with everything. The point of this is to show you how quick and easy you can build out a pretty cool game using this software. Let's go ahead and start the timer now. The first thing we'll do is choose the Flappy gameplay type. Then we'll drag and drop our background over and then our character. Now I'm going to zoom out so I can see the whole picture. We're gonna make this a little bit smaller and also increase the size of the background slightly. Now we're ready to start creating levels. I'll do the same thing and make this level smaller and then we're gonna grab a pillar, drop it as an object and make sure we notate this as an enemy. Now I'm going to duplicate this I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees, and we're gonna have it be the other pillar upside down. I'll turn on the snap function. This way I know they're gonna line up perfectly. Then we'll grab the ground layer. We'll put this as an object, and it's gonna be an enemy as well. Now we'll duplicate this scene, and we're just gonna change how these look. It's gonna randomly play these in uh, a different order every single time, just like Flappy Birds. And of course, we could make sure these are really fine-tuned if we wanted to spend a little bit more than 60 seconds. And we are done. That's it. We made a whole game in 60 seconds. Let's check it out. All right, here we go, guys. In under a minute, we made a Flappy Bird-style game. Dare I say the graphics are even better, and it's pretty cool, and it works really well. And we could tweak all of the physics. We could make it uniquely ours. We could make it faster. We could make it more difficult. We could easily make it simple for kids. But the big question is, why even make a Flappy Bird game at all? Instead of making just yet another clone of Flappy Birds, why don't we make something truly unique? And you know what we can do? We can take what people love about Flappy Birds, the Flappy style gameplay that made it so popular, and then put a new spin on it. So instead of just having regular old boring pillars here, I'm gonna make this a physics item. And when I do that, you'll notice that as I go under this item, it's going to fall down. There it goes, it starts to fall. And what we can do is actually clone this out and we can make many of them. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out. I'm gonna extend this. We'll go ahead and double this over as well. And let's make a couple more to see how that looks. All right, so now the game has changed completely and it's all about making sure we don't get hit by these items falling, but it's too easy. So we need to add in some more things to make it a little bit more difficult. And nothing's more difficult than a huge rotating spike saw blade of death. So now we have a new obstacle in the way. And of course, now the game has gotten more difficult. Well, to make things even more difficult, we could put in these really fast rotating boxes that get in the way. And now we have yet another thing that we have to avoid. Of course, you can't touch the ground as well. So you could turn this into an obstacle course and that's just one idea I came up with in the last 15 seconds. But this is just the beginning. This is just a simple idea based upon a simple game. Buildbox can do so much more. Let's say that we wanna make a platformer instead of a flappy style game. It's literally as easy as going into settings and choosing platformer. Now, it should be noted, all these gameplay presets, all they do is change all the options of our Infinity Engine. That's what makes this whole thing work and that's what we spend all the time on. All it does when you choose Platformer is change all of these options, then it changes the physics in the game, it changes all the dynamics, the bounce force, the max speed, gravity, game speed, friction, velocity drag, all of this stuff to give you now a platforming game. And as you can see, it works just like you would expect a platforming game to work. And we can try to jump over stuff, avoid obstacles, and of course, if we hit something, then we die. Now, let's say you've already made your game, but you decide you just don't like this cute green dragon. And instead, you really wish that you had a yellow dragon. All you'd have to do is click on your character over here, you'd grab another file and replace it. And of course you have shooting animations, bullet animations, jump animations, move animations, defeated animations, and more, which we'll go over soon. And then now we would reset the game and here we have a whole new character playing our new game. So that's just a fun little example of what all you can do with BuildBox. There's obviously a lot more to the software, but for the new people especially, I want to show you guys how quick and easy it is to build out something and just get started. 
This is Trey Smith, and thanks for watching.